everyone, Ryan here with creatingawebsiteguide.com. Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about keyword research. Um, keywords are basically words that you enter into search engines um, that get your website found. So if I go to a website like Google uh, and I begin typing in something like lawn care, um, lawn care would be the keyword in itself. So keywords are words that um, help your website get found um, and that you try to focus when building your website on targeting. So you use these words throughout the body of your website um, in the header and then also like meta tags and things like that that we'll get into later when you're actually building your website. So a big question that a lot of small business owners have is that's great and all uh, I'm looking for keywords but uh, but where do I find them? How do I discover what the keywords are and you know what people are searching for? So basically there's two free tools from Google. Uh, since we're doing this as low cost as possible, uh, I'm only gonna use free tools. There are more advanced tools um, that get a lot more in depth with, uh, with analyzing what people are searching for, but they, they cost significant amounts of money, probably at least $100. So well, the first tool we're gonna use is AdWords keyword tool and you can just type that into Google like I am right now should be the first result so I'm just gonna click in here AdWords keyword tool is uh, owned by Google and it allows you to put in particular keywords or phrases and it allows you then to see how many people or the volume of people are searching for particular things so in this case study I'm gonna be doing a lawn care business so obviously uh, one of the things I'm going to search for is, since my market area is Green Bay, I'm going to search for Green Bay Lawn Care. Other terms um, may be Green Bay Lawn Service. Oh, I can type here. Or Green Bay Lawn Mowing. Uh, I recommend before you even before you even go to this tool to sit down and contemplate what people search for your business with. So if you're a hypothetical customer uh, sitting down at your computer and you were in the market for like a lawn service or lawn care or whatever your business is, uh, what were the keyword phrases that you would be using at this point? And I would go ahead and type those in. So, and then from that I would, uh, on this page here, I would click only show ideas closely related to my search terms. Since I've been using this, I'm not prompted with a password, um, but you will just type in the password. And we can see here that uh, Green Bay Lawn Care has the most because I'm not even seeing Green Bay Lawn Service or Green Bay Lawn Mowing have uh, search results, basically. I'm sure there's a few people who may search for those terms, but not all that many. So since I'm in a small market, um, there's obviously not that many people searching here. So this is the first tool I recommend using. Uh, when analyzing what keywords to use. So obviously my focus here as I build the site is going to be Green Bay Lawn Care rather than you know focusing keywords on Green Bay Lawn Mowing. So, Alright, so now that we've used the AdWords keyword tool, uh, I'm going to go into the second tool which is just simply Google Insights. So if you're at Google, you can just type in Google Insights. Alright, it should be the first search result, which it is for me too. And we're going to stick with the theme of the keywords that we just used. So lawn care, lawn service, lawn mowing, things like that. So I'm just going to type in, without specifying local, uh, without saying your metro area or your community or whatever, I'm just going to do lawn care. Okay. I'm going to add a search term. Let's do lawn service. Okay. And also lawn mowing. So those were the ones that we just searched for uh, with Google AdWords keyword tool. So if we just searched right now, we would have the search volume for these keywords throughout the world. So we don't really want that. We want it more specific. We want it for a geographical area. So under worldwide here, we're going to go to United States or whatever country you're in right now. Um, and since I'm in Wisconsin, we're going to do Wisconsin. And the metro is going to be the Green Bay Appleton metro area. So, and from that we're going to search, and this is just kind of confirming what the AdWords keyword tool said. Uh, we're going to see just basically uh, the trends, like where is the activity, and um, 
obviously the blue here is lawn care, uh, the red is lawn service, and the yellowish orangish color here is uh, lawn mowing. So you can see the vast majority of people are searching for lawn care when they're searching for my service or the service of the business that I'm creating this case study on. Um, we're not getting into landscaping or anything like that. I'm sure there would be more volume for that. Um, but uh, yeah, so I would recommend using those two tools, the AdWords Keyword Tool and the Google Insights for Search just to confirm that there is activity for the keywords you're looking for. So if you're a florist or a dentist or a particular type of doctor, go ahead and do that um, with the main keywords that you're looking for just to confirm that you're using the right keyword, uh, the one that people are searching the most. Uh, and, and later on we'll use that keyword and I'll show you how to do that when you actually uh, start building your website.